Hi, this is Erling with Travel Trail Sail. Judy and I are out exploring, having a wonderful fall weekend at Chip Oaks Plantation State Park in Surrey County, Virginia. It's a beautiful state park, nice campground, there's hiking trails to explore, it's right along the James River, a beautiful wide river, and directly across the river from Williamsburg and Jamestown. So it's a nice place to come and explore. You can also learn a little bit about Virginia history here as a continuously operating farm for 400 years. Chip Oaks is a great place to come and learn about farming. They actually have a, a farm museum as well as it being a working farm. There is a, a mansion on the property that you could take a tour of on the weekends. Uh, they tell a, a, a good history of this piece of land and its history and how it became a state park. So a great place just to come and enjoy a weekend, but also a good place to stage a visit to head to other parts of Virginia like Williamsburg or Jamestown. So come and take a walk with us. We're going to explore Chip Oaks, go on a little hike, check out the farm museum, and uh, take a look at the mansion. I'm standing on a walking path right in front of the James River and Chip Oaks State Park runs right along the, the coast of the James River opposite from Williamsburg. So I don't know, you probably can't see it because it's pretty small in the view, but literally across from the river uh, you can see in the distance Bush Gardens Williamsburg and you can see uh, uh, one of the tall roller coasters as well as one of the spire rides that drops people. So that is exactly opposite the river from us. And just a little bit up the river is uh, Jamestown, where the original English settlers landed. There's a lot of history in this area. And that's probably, if I were you, where I'd get started, going to the national park that's at Jamestown and hearing the interpretation of different points of view of those original times back in the 1600s. Now, Chip Oaks uh, was an outgrowth of Jamestown and people moved across the river. This is 400 years ago uh, and it was uh, 1619, a pretty historic year for a lot of reasons, but uh, this 500 acre piece of land was deeded to one of those settlers who came across here and started a farm. It is the oldest working farm, I think, in North America, and it's been continuously worked since 1619. So check out the history, start across the river at Jamestown, and then come over here to Chip Oaks and explore. I'm here at the Jones Stewart Mansion. It's one of the attractions at Chip Oaks Plantation State Park. Now, while this is not the original plantation house, it is a historic home and it's really well preserved. You can see a little bit about uh, what a house from this era might look like. It's well furnished. You could see updates over time where they made additions, added indoor plumbing. So it is a beautiful home. Next to it is actually an outside kitchen. Sometimes you'll catch a demonstration of people uh, demonstrating baking bread or making a stew. So uh, come and check out the Jones Stewart Museum. They do offer tours, uh, Saturdays and Sundays definitely, sometimes on weekdays, and the interpreters are passionate about Chip Oaks. So they can tell you all about not only the, the mansion house and, and all the furnishings, the families who lived here, 
but also the history of this uh, state park as well, how it came to be that this farm became a state park and the history leading up to it for the last 400 years. So well worth time to, to stop and get a tour at the Jones Stewart Museum. Uh, very interesting history. Uh, come and check it out. I'm at the Chip Oaks Farm and Forestry Museum, and this is a really unique part of Chip Oaks. As a active working farm for 400 years, they have opted to create a museum to the history of farming. So you can see a couple of antique tractors here, but behind me there are a number of buildings that, that open up so that you can see planters, harvesters, all kinds of field equipment as well as the things you might find inside a farmhouse, like old sewing machines. So it's a really interesting part of uh, farm history and a great thing to experience when you're here at uh, Chip Oaks. Now right across the street from me is an actual, like a nice farm garden. So they have all kinds of plants growing, as well as chickens, uh, donkeys and hogs and, and different animals. Uh, there is actually a cow pasture just up the road. So it's an active working farm and you can experience just a little bit of not only current farm life as well as farm history here at Chip Oaks. We're here at the entrance to the Chip Oaks Plantation State Park Campground. And if you haven't paid for your site in advance, you can actually pay here. Uh, you know, Virginia residents, $40 for the first loop, sites 1 to 18, 35 for sites 19 to 50, uh, $5 more if you're not a Virginia resident. Now, of course, you can go to Reserve America and reserve and pick your site. A lot of the sites are reservable, meaning you get to reserve your specific site. Some are first come, first serve, in which case, uh, if you're coming in late, you could just go ahead and pay right there. Or you can check in at the Visitor Center where you can get maps and information. So we're going to go ahead and walk through. It's an older loop and a little bit more rustic, but the sites are still nice and large. Uh, they are gravel sites. And you can see that you get a picnic table, fire ring, water, and electric. And a variety of sites on this side. This one, site number 20, is marked as an accessible site.
Some of the sites are, you know, they're mostly level side to side, but they may be at a bit of an angle front to back. The ones that are reservable are marked with a yellow sign. And on site number 24 here, we can see it's just a brown sign, meaning that it is first come, first serve. But you can see the sites gravel, a little bit steep of an angle front to back, but uh, fairly basic state park uh, campsites. Roads in the campground at Chipooks have been recently paved, which is nice. They are in great shape. And it's a nice wooded campground. We are walking around here on a Sunday afternoon, just after checkout time, and you can see just about every site is now vacant. You shouldn't have a hard time getting a site in the middle of the week, but if you were to try and come on a weekend, every one of these sites was, was occupied all weekend. So you may want to think about reserving in advance if you plan on coming to Chipokes. Towards the end of the A-loop is actually a group camping site. The group camping site does have a parking pad next to it that should be able to fit maybe three vehicles. walk on back into the group site so you can see what it's like. Again, nicely wooded, perfect area, say, for a scout group to come and camp. There are some picnic tables back in here. They do have power. And then there are gravel pads where you can set up a tent. Several of those. And a large campfire ring. As well as You've got the regular campfire rings, but also the big stone one in the middle for a gathering in the evening. May want to do some skits or tell some stories. Now, if you had a smaller camper or a pop-up, or we're a tent camper, this loop might be the perfect place for you. If you are driving in a large travel trailer, fifth wheel, or a class A, you might like to check out the sites on the B loop. We'll be exploring that after we're done walking around the A loop.
important thing we enjoyed this weekend was just all the families out having fun. Kids riding bikes, playing games. People usually seem to relax when they're in the campground. We're coming to the end of the A loop. I'll point out that they do have firewood for sale at $6 a bundle. And it's on the honor system, but there's a shed here where the firewood is stored. And you can come and pick a bundle. Across from that, as part of the A loop, just kind of slowly pan over here, is a bathhouse. You'll also find recycling here and an ice machine, which is kind of a nice touch. You don't often see that in campgrounds. Camp host is set up right between A and B loop, so if you ever need assistance, you can always talk to the camp host. Now, as we move over into the E loop, you'll notice that the sites are paved instead of gravel which is nice. They are very level. You may need to adjust your camper front to back, but generally side to side, they're extremely level. Around the edge, you'll find back in sites. And then in the middle, there are pull through sites. And I'm just gonna show you one of the pull through sites here. It's kind of on a curve, which you can see right about in the middle here. We have water and electricity. They are not full hookup sites, so at the end of the weekend, you would need to visit the dump station. A very large pad with a picnic table. Now I'm going to Turn around over here to site seven. It's a back-in site. Just to give you a sense of what a back-in site is like at Chip Oaks. Again, you can see it's a paved site. A little bit of an angle front to back, but level side to side. Water and electricity hookups large pea gravel area with a picnic table, campfire ring, lantern hook. And then right across from that is another long pull through site. And I think you can see that fairly large rigs could be here. This weekend there were several large diesel pusher class A's, fifth wheels, all kinds of rigs. One other thing that's kind of unique about Chip Oaks is that they have yurts available for rent. And a yurt is a large round tent, kind of a permanent tent that are built on a deck. Each yurt has with it, similar to a campsite, you're going to have water, uh, water and a picnic table and a fire ring. So that's an interesting way to get out in the campground. If you don't have a camper yet or just want to try a yurt, Chipokes has three of those available for rent. Most of the sites are pretty wooded. There's a couple that have a little bit less shade. People wonder about if they'll be able to stay connected. We've been checking out the cell service here, which is pretty spotty. You, know, you could maybe, again, do phone calls and texting, some very light social media. If you wanted to check your Twitter feed or Facebook, but 
Uh, the images take a while to load, and so I wouldn't say you're going to have real fast cell phone internet here. As far as TV goes, you have over the air available, and quite a few channels come in. MeTV, Laugh, all the basic networks, and PBS. We spent more time, I think, here relaxing by the campfire than watching TV. But some folks like to know what their options are. And in the this loop over here in B is a newer campground loop. It has a beautiful bathhouse laundry facility, individual entry showers, as well as the men's and women's bathrooms. It's nice too, again, they have recycling here for glass, plastic, aluminum, If you want to be close to the bathhouse, it looks like Site 16 here would be perfect for you. It's also listed as an accessible site. Nice deep back in site. All the basic amenities that all the sites have. So much to do at Chip Oaks. Take a walk down to the Fossil Beach. Check out the farm museum, see some of the animals that they have there, the chickens and the donkeys and pigs. All the old planting and harvesting machines. So if you're looking for a somewhat rural feeling or farm feeling campground, but one that's close to things, a lot of day adventures you can take to <clears throat> Williamsburg, Jamestown. You could even head over to Bush Gardens for a day. Now you would have to take the ferry back and forth, so allow a little extra time if you're heading to that side of the James. Lots to do on this side, too, on the Surrey County south side of the river. College Run Farms is close by. They have a pumpkin patch, fresh homemade ice cream. A few other historic sites, too. Bacon's Castle is one. Thanks for joining us on our tour of Chip Oaks Plantation State Park. Hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you're looking for more details on Chip Oaks, you can check out, we've got a full blog post with tons of pictures and information at traveltrailsale.com. And if you like this video, please give us a subscribe on YouTube. We sure do appreciate the support. Hopefully we'll see you again soon, and thanks for the follow.